Hey everybody, back with a new episode of Gen V. Last episode, we went inside everyone's heads, but I think it worked out for the best because everyone kind of had their shame and guilt brought to the forefront. They were able to work through it, and I think they're stronger together, which is great. And uh, we found out what Shetty has been working on, this virus that can kill soups. That's her goal, it seems. Uh, so we are going to have to stop her, but I, I think everyone is willing. Um, but it's not going to be an easy task. This next episode being called Sick, I wonder if she's going to start dispersing it, uh, testing it more on other soups. I can only imagine. But yeah, let's get back into it. <coughs> oh, I can't look at that. How long will it take? Well, transmission How across the so contact with bodily fluids. So, depending on Andy's viral load... Can't we make it airborne? It could spread like wildfire. That's the goal. Define What wildfire. is her backstory? A soup killed a family member, I'm sure. Thought would want us to entertain anything so reckless, Indira. You take your medication today? Yeah, take another. You'll feel better. No. It'll be all right, Kate. I promise. <laughs> all the voices. Oh, right. I'll wait for her at her house. And then when she comes home, I'll make her tell everyone everything. Fucking liar. Can't wait to go run back to Shelby. Uh, she just stabs in the back. Can we trust her when she's still hiding something? I'll go with her. You can trust me. Stay out of our fucking heads. Then maybe we'll trust you. It's not like she wants to. She could fuck with our heads anytime she wants to, and she's not. We have to believe she's on our side. And you gotta stop turning into a dude when you wanna make a point to us. <gasps> oh, call out. Fine. Fine. Can we find proof about the woods or what they've done to Sam and those other kids down there? Doesn't matter what Kate does. <laughs> and then what? You think they're gonna believe a black girl in a bi gender Asian soup over bot? No, they're just gonna twist it like they twist everything else. It's true. Unless we get it to someone they will listen to. Victoria? Stranger danger. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. Yep. All right. This was hidden in her drawer. All this stuff about a plane crash. Transoceanic Flight 37. Yeah, I remember that. Oh my God, is that the one? Right? Yeah, that's what they said. The Homelander. Is she? Oh, is this her play? Homelander? Her family was on the plane. So she hates all soups now. Kill them all, she says. And sign my own death certificate. You fucking cunt. Did you just give them more evidence? What did he say about infection, Ray? Right? Mm. You know some powerful people. Oh, shit. Thank you for meeting me. What you're describing goes beyond neutralism. Yeah. It's a war crime. This is a war. Us against them. And so far, they've been winning. The virus gives us a way to fight back. It's genocide. No matter how many of them you kill, none of this is going to bring your husband and daughter back. Oh, yeah. I figured. But you're too extreme for Mallory. Oh, grandchildren. So. Keep a close eye on her. Yeah, you might want to do that. <laughs> I was Why don't you take a nap? Oh my. No. You look so badass. Emma! <laughs> Give me a hand. <laughs> We're superheroes. We can do whatever we want. Okay. Aw, Sam, he's never had to just have, he's never gotten to have fun. Go hang out with Rufus. Really, Rufus still walking. <laughs> the party's moving. You coming? Um, I'm supposed to stay here to, uh, to wait for Emma. Emma's at the party we're going to. Oh. She is? Yeah, sure, whatever. Come on. Here at the Dolcom believe that speech is free. And knowledge can be a superhero, a super power, and 
And it's a good thing that someone as versatile and trustworthy as you has stepped up to ask the tough questions, Ooh, the superheroes, I don't know the real Americans. Hack it. <laughs> What the hell? He's gone, Emma. You are gonna love Oh, Jesus. Oh! If elected, our administration wants to put a new position in government that allows the superhuman community to have a seat at the table. Really? Yes. That have anything to do with the fact that polls show your ticket is below 30% with the super able community? No, Ken. Let's open this up to the audience of America's future superheroes. Yes, over here. Gotta find Newman, tell her what we know. Any chance you know a teleporter? No, but I can cause a distraction. You're the girl who fucking tortured Emma, right? Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. I just gave her a platform. Woo! There you go. Whoa! Look at this. Jordan Lee attacking her own kind. Quite the distraction. Break it up! We all saw Homelander kill a human in broad daylight unprovoked. Is he going to be held accountable? Good fucking question. Thank you. That is a good question. I have full faith in the legal system and Homelander should stand trial just like anybody else and a jury of his peers will decide that outcome. You will not control us! Oh my you god, Ruben, shut up! Us. This is not about control. Oh, that's right, that's right. Look, people are passionate about the issue. So am I. Like most of America, this crowd has rejected Victoria Newman and her un-American anti-superhero agenda. Don't make me stick up for Victoria. You're Marie Moreau, right? Oh, I was hoping I'd be you. Were. You were? Yeah, um, let's find some place we can chat. Just the two of us. Come on, it's awesome being with people like us, just having fun. Okay, look, we need to get him out of here now. Hey, Sam, Sam, we got hide you. I found something truly special again. My powers. Oh, Kate, yeah. you. A girl who was just as lost and lonely as I felt. I know you feel alone. Kate. But we have each other. One last she push would from you. Kill you. And then dead. we can all of this behind. You will never be alone again. We'll hide out in the green room until it all blows over out there. Otherwise, I think they might take off my head. Well, you know something about that. There's something I want to Your hear. powers are badass. You can sense things in blood. Use that and tell me about me. Oh my god, you're. There we go. Your blood. There's compound V in it. You're a soup. How? Oh. That's why, why they are so interested <laughs> in her. She can a... tell who's a soup and who isn't. There's a secret lab under this school called the Woods, where they experiment on kids. They're infecting them with a virus that can kill soups. They'll handle it. Handle Will it. you? Yeah. But what does that mean? That means I got it from here, Marie, okay? You can go back to being a student. It was the pills she was giving me. I've never felt better. Kate, listen to your friends. They care about you. Shut up! You had your chance to talk, and now it's my turn. Please, what Kate, you don't have to do this. I love you. I know you love me. It doesn't change the fact that you're a fucking bitch. Kate, the fuck is going on? Don't worry, we're on the same side. You're not here to study. The school is here mm. to study you. Your subjects, not human. We're better than humans. We found out she has some kind of virus to kill God. the kids in the woods. Sam. She wants to make it more contagious. She wants more than that. Homelander? Homelander. He took down that plane. He killed your family. You have ruined countless lives. Just look at what you did to your parents. You what the parents it. did to them? It's your species. Tell them what your last assignment was for me. Kill everybody in the woods. She wants to wipe us off the face of the earth. They all do. So we have to strike first. Starting with her, okay? You have to strike smart. Make me forget. We can start over. I'm gonna take shut care of you. Shut up, shut up, shut the fuck up. Kate! Indira. 
It's time. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, 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 the virus isn't very contagious, thank God. It can survive for a few days at ambient temperature. Okay. But you want to get this Something. test tube into cold storage sooner than later. Who is this? NIH will know what to do. Oh. Speaking out against Bob takes a lot of courage, Dr. Cardosa. You and I it's always have garages. the same goals, right? Compassionate control. Compassionate control. Dude! That is such a great friend. Why is he so sister? naive? Sure. It's all yours. Damn, your head's gone. Oh. Yeah, must be a little drop. Victoria. What are these kids supposed to do? Who are they supposed to turn to? Okay, so this seems very integral to the boys and maybe even what's going to happen in season four. So this, yeah, this is a necessary watch. But, you know, surprising but exciting to see Victoria and see how this is going to affect things and now she has the virus which i can only imagine what she is going to unleash or where and how because she doesn't have the same goal as shetty did she herself is a soup but i know she has many that she would like to kill i, I i'm very surprised by mallory i was happy to see her too but to completely dismiss Shetty and just be like, oh, that's ridiculous. You're talking genocide, which is true. But at the same time, like, uh, we do need a way to kill these soups. Like, the bad ones, if you need to, particularly Homelander. So I'm surprised she wasn't more doing what Victoria did, trying to get it for her own reasons. But... Uh, Someone was gonna get it, and I, I, you know, I don't feel good about Victoria being the one that did. And Shetty's out of there. Kate is pissed, and obviously she has right to. But no one's acting ra reasonably. Everyone is acting off emotion. But like we're dealing with like young adult kid type, you know, people. So yeah, they're letting their emotions uh, run wild. But this 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 narrative that I find myself in, in many of the shows I watch. This one, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., um, Babylon 5. It's the, when you have humans and then a, a different type of human that has abilities. You have these people who think that soups are better and they should, um, you know, they, they themselves should be able to do whatever they want and that they are superior but then at the same time you have people who are humans who want to completely eradicate the the people with the ability so so it's like two extremes you're fighting against can we like come to the middle a little bit um but you know to see this being on a, a college campus and i i looked it up i had to remember where um Robert Singer's positioning was. He's running as a Democrat and he's the U.S. Secretary, Secretary of Defense and, you know, he's running for president. But, like, he's a big, like, wanting to have um, soups in the military and exploit them in that way. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he's who we want either, but we also don't want Victoria and she's really flailing in the polls. So this is her big, what is she going to do? Who is she gonna use it on? I don't, I don't, I don't know. But um, you see how like uncaring she is. She just popped that guy's head like she loves to do. But I didn't like relate her abilities to to um, Marie's. I, I guess the the blood aspect of it, I didn't. They don't present in the same way. Uh, Victoria just loves to pop a head. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Marie's is more using the blood itself. So that was interesting. But Victoria did not help Marie at all. And Marie just unwittingly gave her a really big uh, tool to use. And oh my God, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine what Victoria's going to do. But, um, this was 
I don't even know what happened to Andre's dad. Like, did he just have a seizure? That seemed too random, especially the time. Like, he wasn't doing so well um, asking the tough questions or, you know, even before that. Um, he just seemed to be not the person that would probably be the best to get, like, good answers out of Victoria. So, I don't, I wonder if someone caused that to happen in him. I don't know, but the whole switch with Kate, like all of a sudden she's like crying in her lap. But I think that was her like getting close enough to actually read her and what Shetty's actual intentions were. And I, I imagined exactly what it was. I didn't think it was directly tied into that plane crash. That plane crash has been a real big Nexus event. And um, Hollander being responsible for her family being dead, of course, it was going to be something like that, but to the extreme that Shetty took it, her saying here that, oh, it's their species. They all need to be eradicated. That's too far, too far. And Kate, like, vengefully killing her. I don't think that's, I mean, she's just going to be replaced with someone. But we did hear that the school is a front. You are not students. You are being studied. Yeah, like they're like this is institutionalized. This whole the aspect of being a soup and how it's funneled itself into society. It's already it's already been structured in a way that it's hard. It's going to be hard to destroy all of this systemic problem but um you know that's pretty true to life so um man at the same time like sam being like oh he attended one one little rally had one experience where he got to have fun and not have to hide and just you know be normal his rhetoric has already started to change into we are better and it's like oh my god you know you got magneto you know he's the the one that you point to who is tired of the human response and uh decides to become the villain and i don't want that for sam and i don't think we're there but everything's kind of a mess <laughs> so many things like went bad here um i mean i'm not sad that shetty's dead or anything or for the doctor even for that matter even though that doctor was just so unbelievably naive of what shetty was gonna do of what victoria was gonna do at least the kids have used to blame for not being prepared prepared for what's happening but he just <laughs> just like i'm a little scientist doing these things oh people are going to use it as a weapon what i thought this was just in the name of science come on now um but yeah i i'm just so surprised how tied in everything is to the boys and it seems to be Unless they're able to get this back from Victoria by the end of the season, this is going to be a big deal in the boys next season. And I would be surprised how they could not. I'm, I would be surprised if you didn't watch this show, if you could totally understand everything inside the boys, if this is connected, if this keeps connecting. So, I mean, I'm glad I'm watching this for sure. But, wow. Man, this was tough. Kate was in a bad position because, like, everyone's still not really sure how to deal with her. They don't trust her. The pills were making the mind reading stop. I don't know if that is necessary, if it's something that she can learn to control. But she said the pills were making her numb. But, like, she's reading her friend's minds and they don't want that. And then she goes off and does what she does so i mean things are <laughs> i don't know where i don't know what the fallout is going to be from all of this but a lot of things changed here 
So I'm very curious to see what happens next. We only got a couple episodes left to go or one. I think we got one left. Do we have one left? We have one left. So what's going to happen? I don't know. But this was interesting. This was shocking. Fun to really tie this in so much to the boys world. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon.